Digital Earth was a vision that had been presented by former Vice President Al Gore to talk about the future, a future where a young girl could be on a computer and interface with a virtual globe, a spinning globe. Now we see and we say a Google Earth. But to spin with one of those and, and, and interact, and in that experience, she would easily access all the information in the libraries of the world that are now being digitized and connected. She would be able to uh, get un, un, untold experiences in terms of what's going on in Africa with films or what's going on in the, in the Arctic with the, with the polar bears. So this rich experience, which uh, previously was limited to universities, uh, special government agencies would now be available to the average child growing up anywhere in England, anywhere in the world. That's a phenomenal concept, and it was a vision, as we talked about in 1998. Turns out, as we say, Google Earth is the forerunner of the realities that we have today. One of the more exciting realms that we see has to do with the virtual worlds, because that's a very engaging and exciting and entertaining if you will, domain or environment with which people can come in as an avatar, experience exciting worlds, but actually learn. And so as we connect those entertainment experiences and they actually learn good things along the way, just don't tell them they're being educated, just to let them have a good time is a kind of concept that I've used for years in my teaching. Have fun, do some interesting projects, and you will learn better, you will learn faster, and you will retain it for the rest of your life. How do we manifest this for the future to ensure that the gaming and entertainment is also tied in with serious data so that we can make responsible decisions on a borough by borough basis, a village by village basis, and, and make it, if you will, attractive, engaging, and educational too.